In the previous chapters of the Bonita Camp, we have seen how we can define a process using BPM, how you define the business data model to manage your, your process data, how you create user interface with the UI designer, how you manage users and task assignments with actors and actor filters, and how a process can interact with external system using Bonita connectors and Bonita Engine APIs. So now let's see how we can put all that together to create what we call living application in Bonita. Basically an application will be a set of process plus user interface, business data model, all the artifact we create so far, all together plus a brand new unique user interface. This user interface will be Bonita pages. So they are created as we've seen in the previous chapter with the UI designer tool. And the pages will provide a kind of dashboard, a global view, a global business view on all the business data and let you interact with all the process of the underlying application. Actually, creating a business application with Bonita really follow the MVC design pattern. It's really about having the model as our BDM, so our business data model is really the, the core of the application. The view is this set of forms and pages you create with the UI designer that lets you uh, control the process execution. And actually, you drive not, you update not directly the data, but you go through the process and process so act as a controller. It will drive the interaction and the update on the business data model, but also the interaction with a third party application. An application uh, in Bonita is not only pages, but you can group, you can have a set of pages and you can put all, all those pages together and define some menu to have a nice web interface for the user. But let's have a look about how we, we create uh, an application. So for example, I have my, uh, my live request process now. And if I want to have, uh, for example, a table that lists all the vacation requests, so I want to create this kind of dashboard for the HR, for example. So I can start with uh, the UI designer. So launch the UI designer. And here I will use a create button, but instead of a process form that is used to start a process or execute a task, I will create an application page. And basically in this application, I will just do the, as usual for any kind of forms, I will use drag and drops to add the different, uh, different widgets. And for example, here I want to display the vacation request. So I want to display, for example, only the uh, dates and uh, number of days, for example. And for the content, actually, I will use a variable. So I will create a new variable here. Those are my requests. And I will use actually a call to the API to initialize this list. So the call to the API is actually uh, quite easy to get. Uh, my recommendation is usually to use the um, tooltip, the examples here. Uh, if you go to the example, you can see this BDM API example here in the list. And we'll use that. So you need to know the business data type you want and the type of query you will run. So in order to get the available queries, you can go in development in the studio, business data model, and in define here, you have the queries available here. So all queries available by default let you filter on any kind of attribute of your business object. But here I don't want any filter, so I will use this find queries that select basically everything from the live request uh, data table. So let's go ahead and uh, try to uh, call this URL. So here we'll 
look like this. So API BDM business data. So this is the full name of my business data. I mentioned that I want to run the find query here. The API handle pagination. So I'm on page zero and I will have uh, 10 uh, vacation display. I will not deal in with the pagination in this example for the display. So if I uh, actually run this query from my uh, web browser here, uh, just click here on the portal to make sure I'm actually logged in. But if I run the, the query here, you can see that it returns the information about the vacation request as a JSON. It's a JSON array. So for example, I can uh, get the uh, date of departure here and I will use it here for the name of the column to define what I want to display and number of days is here. I bind the variable I create here for the content, sorry, of the widget. And now if I preview this, I have an array. Uh, I have my widget table that contain the information about the vacation request. So now what I can do with this page, I can actually export this from the UI designer. And next I will go in Bonita Portal. In Bonita Portal, I want to create my application. So I won't go to administration view, but the first step to create my application will be to bring my page here. So in resources tab, I will click on add browse and go where I previously download my page. So the one that I export from the UI designer and I will import it. Now I can go ahead and create an application. So an application is basically just a name and a URL. We define version and you can select which profile this application should be available can restrict uh, this to users or to administrators, uh, to administrator basically. Not that in Bonita Enterprise Edition you have more profile available, but here we'll make this application available to everyone. And I can hit create here. Then I can define the detail of my application. So I can add some pages. So in the drop down list here, I can find the pages I just upload, plus some default available pages and some examples. I can define the URL of these pages. So for example, this would be the home page. And instead of the default home page, I can click this little house icon to make my newly added page the home page. As you can see, we can upload multiple page and we can uh, define navigation. For example, here I can have uh, a menu and I can select which elements my menu will uh, bring, which page my menu will load, and I can customize that. And here actually I can already test my application. I have the link available here. You can see that in the I find my menu entry here and it load actually my page and displays data. So here, of course, this is a very basic example, but you can create complex pages and a complex application with set of pages with navigation using a custom menu. So that's it for the quick tour of the application. Of course, this is just an introduction. You can create quite complex application using the API of Bonita Engine. You can use application to uh, pages to start a process, to perform some task, uh, but this is not covering too detail in this uh, video. So now the next step in this Bonita camp is to take a look at how you create an application by doing the exercise uh, number six. In the next chapter, we'll see how you can build and deploy an application on a production platform.